Hey guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com and today we are going to be talking about the Springfield Armory Hellcat in 9mm. Now this is the black uh, OSP model which means that it is an optics ready pistol. Honestly, I haven't gone with an optic yet because I'm not entirely sure what I want for it. I'm thinking I'm leaning more towards the shield but I haven't really fully made that decision yet and Guys, you're going to have to check back and uh, see what we actually decide to put on here because I like the size of the gun and I really love these sights. And now that I have the gun in my hand and I'm actually shooting with it, I'm contemplating what I really want to do. Now you also will see that we have this hidden hybrid holster in front of us. We will be talking about that in a minute, so stay tuned for that. Now why don't we go do just a little bit of shooting with this. So as I said, we will be talking about the hidden hybrid holster that I have. This is an inside and outside the waistband holster and as you can see, I don't really print all that much with this gun because it is so tiny. Now, this holster does have dual clips so that way that you can really fit this where you want it. If you want it a little bit farther back, if you want it in the back, you can really fit this where it fits for you. Now I do have the right-handed model. You can go and get the left-handed model for the lefties out there. They do make different versions of each holster and left and right-handed. And I highly recommend checking them out because, well, they're just really comfortable. They have the leather on the back, the kydex on the front, so that way that you're not worried about your front of the holster falling apart, getting into that trigger well, and pulling the trigger and shooting yourself. We've all read the articles, we've all seen the photos online, we don't want that to happen. So this, you get a comfortable holster without having to deal with the sharp edges or the hard plastic rubbing against your skin. You just get a nice comfortable holster. Now, I'm going to put this back on and I want to show you kind of how I use my pockets. Now due to where it sits, my always concern that I have whenever I'm trying out a new gun and a holster is how well can I get into my pocket? So I want to be able to keep my phone in my pocket and I don't really want to have that bulk. So here's where the barrel actually ends of the pistol. So I still have plenty of room, but the other nice feature is, is that since it sits so comfortably on the hip, I can actually run my spare mag in the coin pocket of my pants. So I have that as an ability since these mags are so tiny with a nice tight fitting coin pocket it fits well and it's going to stay there. Now I would prefer to have a clip on here so that way that it all stays together but right now I don't have one. I will be ordering one for these as honestly they're really worth having. A magnetic clip that holds your magazine in your pocket. Now on the topic of magazines I do want to say that I did come with these two magazines and like I said I don't want to go and worry about the number of rounds that I'm going to be able to carry. So on my extended magazine, as you can see here, it has a little bit of an extended base. This is your 13 plus one in the gun mag and it fits really well. Let me get a close up of that. But with your spare mag, as I like to call it, because honestly, I wanna have the most comfortable grip possible when I'm pulling my holster. I don't wanna have the smallest magazine. My small magazines, my extra smalls are always going to be my spare mag because if I have to pull it, if I have to use it, I don't want to lose the ability to, to catch my, my pinky on there. I want to have the best grip possible when I'm first pulling that gun. So I keep these as my spares and I keep my 13s as my main magazine. It does fit really well in the gun. We'll show you left handed. We're going to now show you the pinky. And well, it does catch. It's not a, a great grip. And it is only 11. 
Now let's jump into the specs of the gun. Now the Springfield Armory Hellcat specs are that it is a striker fired semi-auto pistol in 9mm. It has two magazines that come with it and if you're looking at buying one the 11 and the 13 round respectively will be $29 and $40 for a spare mag which you can purchase on their website or you can go and find them at aftermarket retailers. The barrel length is 3 inches. The length of the gun is 6 inches, its height is 4.12 inches with a width of 0.88 inches. Now its weight is 18.3 uh, with a flush mag and 18.6 with the extended mag. Since you are adding a little bit extra, you do need to have a little extra weight. The finish is a melanite, it's a steel blacked finish, it's a very hard finish with it being polymer for the grip itself. The sights are Ameriglow Pro Glow Tritium Luminescent Front with a white outline U-notch on the back. I love these sights. These sights are probably my favorite sights that I've ever used on a small pistol because you can just really quickly grab your target with this sight. It does have a trigger lever which means that you don't have any real external safeties on this. It is a striker pin block which means that it's not going to fire until all of the trigger is depressed. You're not going to just catch the side of the trigger and pull the trigger. Hey guys, I'm Atticus James with GearsOfGuns.com and I hope you guys will go and read the full written review down below so that way that you get more information about this awesome pistol from Springfield Armory. Let's go and shoot more.